Let me show y'all just how good this wig is holding on. And so you know it's real. Like this thing, it's not on here. Like it's glueless. Hey guys, it's Kate. In this video, I want to share with you a wig I was sent over from Nadula Hair. Just in case any of you guys are interested, all the links and details to this wig will, of course, be in my description box. So this is what the packaging looks like if you're not familiar with Nadula Hair. Alright y'all, so this is supposed to be their pre-cut lace wig where you can just put it on and be on your way. We're going to see if that's possible and it's supposed to be glueless so let's see um so the wig they sent over it is brazilian hair is 24 inches and it's a curly texture you guys and the curls i will say are really really pretty so this is what the wig looks like i don't know i don't know the dimensions on this lace but it will be in my description box i feel like maybe it's a five by five or four by four i'm not sure but that is the lace so here is the construction it comes with two combs off to the side it also has an elastic band that is adjustable i do believe yep and that's just basically so it can fit your head properly so you won't have to glue it down and you can just wear it glueless and yeah it has a comb in the back but no adjustable strips it does have like this sticky tape it's not tape but it's kind of like plastic i feel like it's gonna hug your head where it's not gonna move or shift so we'll see but the only thing I did to this wig is wet it a little bit and put my curly products on it and let it air dry so I can have a speedy application because you're not you don't have to do basically anything to this wig. So I want to see if I will be able to just put it on and go. But because the knots are not bleached, I am going to go in with my finishing powder and or what I use to contour my face. And I'm going to put it on the lace so it can blend in. When I cut my lace off, I cut it close to the hairline. It's still a smidge of lace right there. Um, if it's an issue, I'll go in and cut it. But... That defeats the whole purpose and I don't really want to disturb the curls that much but I still want y'all to see so can y'all see I'm just going to add it lightly right here because I want this to blend in with my forehead because you still can see some of that lace and I'm just really focusing more towards the front of the wig in the middle part even though I feel like I'm gonna put concealer in the part just to liven it up a bit but this is what we're looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the strap so I can wear this glueless because y'all know me and this peanut head of mine's So I'm going to adjust it like all the way. Okay. Wish me luck, y'all. stop this is why i don't like wearing a nude stocking cap because you can see it you can like see the stocking cap under the lace that's why i always wear 
a black stocking cap i know i get so many questions like why do you wear a black stocking cap this is why this is why right here i don't like that so i'm gonna go in and add some concealer if i can find the brush y'all this is so freaking pretty Did y'all see how easy that was? Can y'all see the lace? Y'all really can't see the lace. That's nuts. I'm going to go in a little bit more. Just because I kind of see the lace a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. And you already can see the part because I have on a nude um, cap. I don't like how this part is like the front part is has a fold in it where it keep on scooting back. It's over here for me. Like the curls were all intertwined together and I didn't really like that. So this side might be a bit more frizzier than this side, but that's okay. Let me show y'all just how good this wig is holding on, okay? Y'all ready? Yes. <laughs> Links in the description. And so you know it's real, like this thing, it's not on here, like. It's glueless and it's so pretty. 